Guys, keep that applause going for Greg McFadden. Everybody looks like they're drinking. All right. It's only 4.30. Woo! Yeah! Now, I used to drink in my 20s, but I had to stop because of my AD. AD? Asshole disease? <laughs> my friends loved it because they would ask me to do really weird things. Hey, Greg, ever surf on top of a car? It was awesome. Until you fall off, and then you find out why normal people surf in the ocean. <laughs> Oh my God, Greg, you put your car up on two wheels. Yep, next day found out, $2,000. <laughs> Drag race on the boulevard. It was an adrenaline rush like you would never believe, especially when the policeman pulled up and impounded my car. Yeah. <laughs> now I have a stalker. She has dark hair, I know she's here tonight, smoking hot, and she always wears a blue dress. It's the friggin' Viagra lady. Everywhere I go, she's there, on the internet. I go to my, my websites, my news sites, and she's in, under the stage. Uh, go, to my, uh, go to my radio site, she's in the margin. Wait, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so, Every place I go, this Viagra lady follows me. So a couple weeks ago, I'm with my wife, and we're out to dinner in a sports club, and I'm not even there 10 minutes. My wife goes, your girlfriend's here. So I turn around, and on all the TVs, she's doing her commercial. I am really thinking about getting a restraining order. <laughs> okay, um, I took my son and daughter uh, out to college last year, and on the way, we stopped in Nebraska. And I went into a store, a little stop, a whole bunch of touristy stuff, and knickknacks. And on the back wall, they had some sports shirts. So I go on, I'm looking through one, and I find one, it's Philadelphia. Okay, cool. Then I take another look at it, and I go, I gotta get this at a discount. So I go up to the manager, and he goes, why, is something wrong? Yeah, it's spelt wrong. Anyway, I bought the shirt. And I hang it in my office and it's an IQ test. Okay, um, has anybody heard about all the shark attacks down the Carolinas this summer? Yeah. Eight people have been attacked by sharks. Eight! It's unbelievable. Two on the same day and the same area of beach. Now, I can't blame the first guy because what are the odds? A million to one? I can't blame the little girl that got bit the same day because, well, maybe the word hadn't spread out yet. But number three through five? Are you kidding me? It's a people buffet out there. So, if you want to know how dumb those people are, all you have to do is ask numbers six through eight. What we need down there is to put some chlorine into the gene pool. Now, I don't swim because I'm afraid of the water. I almost drowned when I was a kid. But I'm on vacation with my wife. And she hands me this brochure and it says, try snorkeling four feet to 40. Uh, okay, I'm six feet tall. If I stay in the four foot end, I'm in good shape. <laughs> so we got on this boat, and that should have been my first warning. Um, we go out to, it's called Cheeseburger Reef, where the water is, get this, 50 feet deep. I'm like, no friggin' way. <laughs> so my wife hands me a mask and the, uh, the life vest, and I put a little bit of water in the life vest. You know, I put a little air in the boat. Wow, that was bad. I put a little air in the boat. So it's my turn to jump in, and as soon as I go in the water, I go under, and I come up and I go, the vest isn't working! To which they said, put more air in it. <laughs> so I'm starting to relax, and i start to look down at the shipwreck, and I'm like, you know, this isn't that bad. I'm actually enjoying myself. I'm really glad I did this. I'm gonna have to thank my wife for this. And then, oh my God, something grabs my leg! I'm gonna die! It was my wife. <laughs> she thought it'd be funny to scare me. <laughs> but it's okay though, because when she grabbed my leg, I peed myself. <laughs> and she swam right through it. 
Thank you guys. Have a great night.